I found 13 GPTs that I actually found pretty useful. And I'll say my favorite for last. Number one, Designer GPT. Now you can create beautiful websites directly in ChatGPT with natively support for dark mode. The website's hosted remotely via Replit. As you can see, all you have to do is click on accept and it's creating this website called Sweet Treats Bakery. And the results is a full website that has everything you need created in 60 seconds. Number two, FAQ Generator. As you can see, I will generate FAQs for web pages, paste a single URL below, and you'll be provided FAQ in a list, HTML, and schema markup. Let's paste this link in here, and just like that, you get a simple FAQ like what is GPT-4, what are the capabilities of GPT-4, Dolly, features of Dolly, what is Whisper. So you can easily use this on your website to create an FAQ. Number three, Healthy Chef. As you can see, it's a recipe creator with visual and nutritional insights. All you need to do is put a picture of a fridge inside, asking it what healthy food can I cook with this for a low carb diet and lactose intolerant. And Healthy Chef suggests a grilled chicken salad with mixed vegetables. It uses spoonacular APIs to fetch nutritional and ingredient data you can take a photo of your available ingredients and it helps with dietary preferences and provides a healthy alternative. Number four, convert anything. This is the ultimate file converter for images, audio, video, documents, and more. It handles individual or batch uploads, supports SIPs, and provides a download link. I'm gonna start by dragging a GIF in here. I'll prompt it, convert this into an MP4 file. First, it's analyzing the file. Then it says, GIF has been converted to MP4 file. You can download it using the link below. Rip to all the expensive conversion websites. Number five, market analyst. Translate any video in one click using a natural voice clone. Just look at his lips. Datos y encontrar patrones que los humanos no podrían. What about a French Elon Musk? Le remplacer. Et placer le dispositif. No. Let me show you how to do it. We're going to use the HeyGen Video Translate. And I'm filming this into the camera right now, speaking in English. I have to do 30 seconds of footage so that they can get my voice and everything like that. I'll just drag the video in here, select between any of these languages. I'm going to go with Korean and click Translate. I'm going to use one credit for this. Oh, it's actually going really quick. Okay, it's finished. Good. 그리고 지금은 영어로 말하면서 이것을 카메라에 찍고 있습니다. 내 목소리와 그런 모든 것을 얻을 수 있도록 The lips are moving perfect. 30초 정도의 영상을 해야 해요. It even sounds like me. Heijin also offers instant avatars. Just look at this. Welcome back to our channel. In this tutorial, that was 100% AI generated. Or what about this? Hey there, video marketing enthusiasts. By far the most realistic AI avatars, you can clone yourself for free. All you need is two minutes of you talking into the camera and you get one of these realistic AI clones. Click my link in the description to check out both the video translator and the instant avatars. Thank you so much to Heijin for sponsoring this section of the video. Number five, market analyst. As you can see, he's now on CoinGecko and checking the price of Avalanche. He's adding some indicators like the moving average and the RSI. And just like that, takes a screenshot, put it into market analyst. And as you can see, he's analyzing the moving average ribbon, the stochastic RSI, volume, price action, support and resistance, and gives you an overall trend. Number six, Cartoonify Me. This one transforms your profile picture into a cartoon character. Let's take a photo of me sitting in a boat and I'll prompt it, turn me into a cartoon. It's asking me which cartoon style I'm fond of. Let's say Simpsons. <laughs> there we got a Simpson version of me. I'll ask it, what about Family Guy? Damn, I'm looking badass. Now, if you think this one is cool, I can't wait to show you the one at the end. Number seven, Anki Wizard. This GPT is an expert in creating high yield Anki flashcards, offering tailored advice and flashcard creation. If you don't know, it's basically right on the front of the page and right on the back of the page. Very good for learning new languages or like I did in college, 
memorize all of the previous exams. I'll prompt it create five flashcards to learn the most common phrases in a restaurant from English to Norwegian translation. A table for two, please. What do you recommend? Kan jeg få regningen var så snill? And now that it's made, I can ask for a downloadable Anki file. Number eight, screenplay GPT. I'll take an image like this, drag it in and ask it, write a scene based on this image. It introduces a medieval battlefield. It cuts to a young woman warrior close in on Edward's face, approaching a behemoth of a man. He raises his sword, rallying his troops for freedom, for our future. Number nine, craftful. This is your product coach. You can ask about best practices, get top gurus product thinking. I'll prompt it, create a product launch plan for an AI automation agency. And craftful will use the data it has on millions of people to build products people love. From market research and positioning to product development and testing, branding, digital marketing, sales strategy, launch event, purchase ship networking, the list just goes on and on. Number 10, interview wizard GBT. This is your personal career assistant that fine tunes your interview skills. You can prompt it, here is the job description, what questions should I expect? What key skills should I highlight for industry? I've uploaded my CV, what area? should I emphasize? I'll prompt it. I'm going to an interview at Apple for a senior engineer. What questions should I expect it to send message? This allows me to be way more prepared before I actually go on the interview. Number 11, Nomad GPT. This helps you become a digital nomad and find the best places in the world to live and work remotely. I'm a digital nomad myself and I kind of know the best places to live right now. So Let's ask it about it. I'll just base it around weather. It's gonna filter cities by the current temperature, humidity, and air quality. Its answer is Southeast Asia, like cities in Thailand, Vietnam, which I currently live in Thailand. And right now I'm visiting Vietnam for a week, which in my opinion is the best right now. Number 12, Sparkle the Storybook Maker. This one can take you from a story to a published book. As you can see, is clicking on start my story and Sparkle will ask it a bunch of questions to make it personalized to you. I want to tell a story about a lion and rabbit and an unexpected friendship that develops. Now it creates the plot. He says, I love all of it. I want to make this into a book for the children's age two to four. Now you can see the first image has been created. He prompts love it continue. It creates another page with the dolly image generation as well. Cute little image. So you can create a full storybook. Number 13, coding wizard. Look, this one creates a website with a sentence. It's built for a new era of creativity prompt gramming. It has 15 hot keys for common coding flows, 17 prompts, first starter project, but what can it actually do? This guy said, I never wrote any code in my life and with him, I can create a website from scratch. This guy prompted him to make a ping ping game in HTML, CSS, and JS and immediately got an actual working game. The best part is that you don't really have to prompt that much because of the hotkeys like W to continue, A to show two, three alternative approaches. So it's more like an auto GPT or an AGI. Click the links in the description to check it out. I'm pretty impressed with these GPTs. If you are too, subscribe to the channel. If you want more updates, click on this video now and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.